I can't even tell you how often people ask me, what is the best way for me to drop these pounds as quickly as possible? Because they either have something special coming up and they want to feel like they look their very best or they have kind of jumped off the diet rails for the past few weeks or even a few months and they're trying to get back on track. So today I'm going to give you my full one week plan to take off as much weight as possible in just a few short days. But first, real talk, quick weight loss, this is temporary weight loss slow steady weight loss that is your permanent weight loss so as soon as we drop these first few pounds we're going to need to have a plan that is either going to help you keep it off and maintain it or help you keep going and reach your goals in the healthiest and most sustainable way possible so before we jump into that one week plan i am going to give you my five diet rules that are super easy and super easy to stick to and you will definitely reach your goals with these five rules Okay, rule number one is we must be in a reasonable energy deficit. And I hesitate to say this because I don't like it and it will actually backfire if we cut too many calories and try to sustain that. So I say reasonable energy deficit. And I do recommend you kind of counting everything for a few days to see where you are because we consistently get this wrong. Studies have proven over and over and over again that we are actually terrible at estimating how much food we eat and how many calories are in the food that we are eating. So my favorite way to create this energy deficit without sacrificing the food intake and the much needed nutrients that is in all of that food is through what is called NEAT, N-E-A-T, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So this is the amount of energy that you use every single day that isn't included in your workout. And so the easiest way to increase this is to get up and move more, like take a lap around the office every hour or so, take the stairs, best ever, go for a walk after you eat your lunch. And guess what? Get those 10,000 steps in every single day, count it, set a goal. It will actually blow your mind what a huge difference this makes. All right, diet rule number two is resistance training. And I know you knew that I was gonna say this, but you have to have it. Resistance training with your diet, it prevents muscle loss due to the diet. Yes, of course, you can lose pounds on the scale just with diet alone, but when you incorporate resistance training, you help prevent that muscle loss. So you get to keep your metabolism where it is right now while you lose the weight, which is gonna help you long after you have reached your goals and you're kind of just maintaining and not really trying to lose anymore. Now, you don't have to go crazy crazy with this one just two or three times a week because I know not everybody loves to do resistance training but two or three days a week will make a huge difference and you're going to want to work really hard 20 to 30 minutes and then you're going to go for a walk for about 15 minutes that's a little added free fatty acid burner for 15 minutes that is really good to do and I would prefer if you were sore the following day because this is how you know you are forcing change in your body and your body can't let that muscle go while you're dieting. Rule number three, pairing your foods properly. This sends the right hormonal message and is a huge deal. And it is such an easy diet hack that once you get this down pat, you can actually eat more food. And once you keep going and it kind of starts to be a habit, you don't even have to think about it anymore. And you're gonna be able to just reach those goals without a lot of effort. And so the trick is to never, ever, ever, ever <laughs> mix your carbs and your fats together. And here's the breakdown. I'm actually going to give you the combination. So you might want to write this down. A protein plus a vegetable plus a fat this is a good combination. A protein plus a carb like a starch or a fruit. We all know we should not be eating the nasty, gross carbs. So I'm not even going <laughs> to mention them. But a starch or a fruit or even a starchy vegetable like say carrots or uh, sweet potatoes or squash minus fat. No fat with these. That is also a good combination. A protein, a carb, and a fat do not do this. And a really good example of this is avocado toast or apples with peanut butter. Also, please notice there's a protein in all of those meals. We do not want to short ourselves of protein. It'll cause problems down the road. And if you want to double down on this rule, eat three meals every single day and do not snack in between them. It is so powerful. All right, here we are at rule number four, which is drinking all the water, a minimum of 80 ounces a day. This is my water bottle right here. It holds 20 ounces of water and I drink five to six of them every single day. I keep track. I would love for you to keep track also because guess what? We drink way less water than we think without keeping really good track. We'll only hit 50 to 60 ounces of water. We want to be 80 or more and you cannot, you cannot burn fat without being properly hydrated. It is literally step one in the fat 
fat burning process. So please drink more water. And now we are going to run into rule number five, the last one. And then we're going to jump into the one week plan. So rule number five is to rest and recover. This is the one that a lot of people kind of skip or don't think is as important, but you must, must, must get good quality sleep to be able to lose weight and to keep it off. Plus really good quality sleep. It supports your muscle growth, your brain health. And guess what? It reduces your cravings for sugars and fats, which is a very big deal when we are trying to get that weight off. And if you really want to power punch with this rule, have your last meal two and a half to three hours before you go to bed. Because when your melatonin kicks in, you cannot metabolize those foods as quickly as you could before. All right, here we are, the actual best part and the reason that you clicked on this video. So you're gonna to wanna to get that pen because we're gonna get into a little bit of detail and you'll probably want to write it down. But I wanna start by saying that this is not a diet plan. This is not your week after week after week plan of how I want you to eat. This is your one week, this is your kickstart, this is your get back into gear or get back into a pair of pants that you may need to wear for some kind of weekend celebration. So we're gonna start with a 24 hour fast from Sunday night at about 7 p.m. until Monday night at about 7 p.m. During that 24 hour fast, water, coffee, tea, no sugar or anything in it. You can also have, and this is my actual favorite, is like club soda or bubbly water. I love Perrier, the grapefruit flavor, which does bring me to this. We do wanna avoid artificial flavors and artificial sweeteners because both of these things can booger up a perfectly good fast and that Perrier has like the essence of, so it's not really a flavoring or a sweetener. So I love it and it works great. It makes your stomach feel like there's something in there when there's really kind of not. Anyway, now after your meal on Monday, which is going to be a large portion of protein and you're gonna have green vegetables. Fats are okay with this. I really don't want you to limit the size of your meal, but I do want it to be about three hours before you go to bed. Then when you wake up Tuesday, you get to look forward to three meals on Tuesday, but you are not going to snack in between them. Please do not snack in between them, but you're going to also have good clean proteins. Fats are okay, but we don't want to overdo it on the Tuesday and actually what turns out to be Wednesday as well. So you want green veggies, a nice big serving of protein. Fats are okay. Three hours before bed again and no real need to monitor that portion size. I want you to feel good about what you're eating. Same thing you're going to do on Wednesday except you're going to do another 24 hour fast from Wednesday night until Thursday night. And once Thursday at seven comes in, you're going to have that same meal you had on Monday. I mean, you can switch up the protein and the vegetable if you want, just for a little variety. It's the same type of meal, large serving of protein, lots of veggies, three hours before bedtime, and don't worry about your portion sizes. Then we're gonna fall into Friday. Friday is going to be the same as Tuesday and Wednesday. So you're gonna have the three meals, no snacks in between, protein, green veggies, three hours before bed again, that last meal, then you should have seen a difference. I would love to hear in the comments if you give this a try and what your results were, because I have had fantastic results with this. Just getting people just kick-started back where they were. It feels so good to get off those first few pounds. And then once we get into the weekend, we want to start to transition back into what we would kind of have as more of a steady state kind of fat loss. So we're going to add those carbs back in. So we're going to add good, clean carbs. I'm talking starches, and fruits, your starches are gonna be like potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and your squash. And so add them in, but just make sure you're not putting fats with them. That's where everything is gonna get all messed up again. This is not the time for fats. And it's the three meals, no snacks in between. Now the success of this is so much fun. And I, while I do love to hear all of the stories and I mean it, I love to, and there are honestly thousands of them. My real goal is to get you to keep going and to reach all of your goals or to be able to maintain everything so effortlessly. Like that is my goal. So the best way that I have found to do this is with a great carb cycling meal plan, intermittent fasting thrown in there with some muscle building workouts. So I do want to caution you a little bit before you begin the one week plan that we were just talking about is that if you are already doing a severely reduced calorie diet, this is not going to work for you. This is not your starting place. So if this is you and you want help because you need to have a plan that is more structured towards rebuilding those hormones, they kind of tend to dip down when we severely reduce those calories. So if you would like me to talk about this and make a plan for this in a video, drop that in the comments. I am so happy to make that video because it is also one of the very biggest problems that people then when they are new to my coaching have. And we a lot of times have to address super low calorie diets 
as much as people who tend to eat a little bit more calories than they should. So it's a very big deal. And if you need it, I am so happy to make that video. And I'm also going to put in the description a link to our over 40 hormone reset diet, which is a great carb cycling plan if you think you kind of need a little bit of help with that. And thank you so much for sticking around with me today. I will see you next time. Bye.